Welcome back everybody to Manic Miners, the Batses mod campaign. New episode means new crew members added into our roster. We have uh, Wario, per your guys' request. I have added in uh, Waluigi. I really couldn't quite get the color right on the overalls, so it's because it's like a darker purple, but I don't have like... I don't have like a purple and a dark purple to use, so I had to kind of do with like a purple and like a dark blue. So I'm not super happy with how the coloring turned out, but eh, close enough. And then because I keep referring to uh, this as my motley crew of miners, I've added, I, it was requested that I add, it, add in Mr. Nikki Six himself. So, keep those requests coming for more miners added into the campaign. I'm thinking when we finally get down to Rocky Horror, I will make a crew with everybody in it from both the, my uh, previous uh, remastered campaign and the Bats', Bats is mod campaign and try and get everybody in there. Uh, let's see here. So we did Lava Laughter. Waterworks. Waterworks. I guess it's Waterworks. Okay, Rock Raider. Are you ready for the next mission? A flood has left many of our Rock Raiders stranded on islands in an underground lake. You must establish our Rock Raider HQ and construct the docks. Once you have achieved this, get a Rapid Rider, rescue the stranded Rock Raiders, and bring back any energy crystals that they have collected. We need a total of 20 energy crystals. According to Cheap, the Rock Raiders are really smart. This can't be proven as the Rock Raiders ate the IQ test. That's awesome. Your air supply is running out. Oh, this is an air supply level now. Okay. Um, let's think about this here. I don't think there are monsters on this level. So I'm gonna kind of play it like that or only get a couple guys with weapons. Alright, let's bring him down. Uh, I'm just gonna have, like, the first three guys... First four guys? Yeah, first four guys, I'm gonna grab... have them all grab weapons. Easy there. God, Chef Gordon Ramsay's gonna go off on a rampage. Where's the bloody lamb sauce? As he's killing rock monsters. An energy crystal has been found. I think our best bet for this level is to... An energy crystal has been found. I don't know. I'm thinking... Oh, that sucks. An energy crystal has been found. I don't want my... Shit going into the water, but my shit is going into the water. You have a shovel? You guys, get shovels! Jeebus! You, what's your name? I don't care. An Oblivious. No, imposter. Down. That's imposter. Yeah. I think our best course of action is to get a chrome crusher and just blitz to where we gotta go. In the remaster, I think this level was a lot bigger. An energy crystal has been found. Yeah. Drill that. Okay. Seriously, guys, get... You two. Get some shovels. Let's get this place cleaned up. An energy crystal has been found. Nope. Clear rubble. Clear rubble. I respect that you want to get the energy crystals. I really do. But we need... We need rubble clearing. There is a multitude of other guys to get crystals. I want rubble cleared so that they're not taking so damn long. Rock ah, see, isn't this much cleaner, much nicer? God, these guys are... The AI sometimes... It's, the AI is a lot better in Manic Miners than it Rock. ever was in, in Rock Raiders. Don't get me wrong, but just... These guys are frustrating! Okay. All right, I need to do a little bit of work with... All right, so I what I need to do first is... Probably need to start drilling into here sooner rather than later. I need to get... I'd love to get a Chrome Crusher and just blitz to the end of the level. That's probably just going to be the smart thing to do. And I have enough room that I don't have to build super intelligently like I did on the last level. Uh, 
And then as we go, I'm just gonna construct forward tool stores so we don't have to come back here ever. This is heavier than books. Y uh, yes. God, I love the voices for these that they did for all these guys. Imposter, there I am. There's Jim Rayner, Gordon Ramsay, Cryo Drake. Everybody's looking just mwah, chef's kiss. Very good. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take over me. Where am I? There I am. Hey. That's me. Ooh, I might do a Joe model. I'll, I've always joked that since like the beginning of the channel. There's two personalities behind this. There's, there's the, the YouTuber known as Bleaker, which is me. Pretty heavy. And then there's my real life counterpart, Joe, also me. So even when I like sign sign off on a lot of my posts, it's like Joe slash Bleaker. It's like, I always kind of view it as like two, I always kind of viewed myself as two entities. There's the the Bleaker personality, which you see before you. And then there's the chronically anxious, always scared of going outside Joe personality, which none of you will ever meet if I have it my way. Oh, I'm taking so I might, this. I might do a, I might do a, uh, I might do a Joe entity just to add into the game as I think that would be really funny. You've got Bleaker and you've got Joe, you know, two halves of the, you know, two halves of the same YouTuber. Yes. Easy oh, wait, enough. I need to get you guys set up on your next building project. Um, and that's when my, and that's when my therapist realized I have multiple personality disorder. Do they even diagnose multiple personality disorder anywhere? Or what do they, what do they call it? Is it? Uh, multiple identity disorder, multiple personality disorder. There we go. I just want to get all this stuff off the water. Because I know the Rock Raiders won't actually reach for it for some reason, for whatever reason. Not a problem. Uh, Hello. That's me. Yep. Yeah. I might actually redo my model again. I kind of like when I had the transparent arm. Well, anyways, um, yeah. As my rock raider is building that, I'll just pick up some of this ore and things that are just kind of gotten cast off to the side. Because again, they won't. Uh, if it's in the water like that, for some reason, they just do not want to grab it. Bring it up here for them. I place it there. Is it rolling back into the... It might. I'll just... Oh, I just... I probably noticed in the past, but it's kind of cool. Like, the ore blocks have the little studs Hello. on them. Uh, yes. Build. Uh... Upgrade, please? Thank you. And actually build two. Uh, Crowdrake. I'm taking over you. I don't disagree. But somebody wanted the chief in the game. So instead of enjoying your retirement, you have to work. Don't blame me. Blame the viewers. It's their pro it's their fault. You know why have why have therapy when you can just talk to random strangers on the internet? It's kind of funny. Actually, I'm not even talking to random strangers on the internet. Random strangers on the internet are, like, watching back on my videos. It's like, this is better than therapy. They have to listen to me. Yeah, this is looking just fine. I agree. I completely agree. 100%. Maybe I'll bring down a Chrome Crusher. I, I'm not sure. Support station. Oh, not enough ore. There, now that's enough ore.
And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I really want to see, like... Oh, there's Mario, there's Luigi. What about uh, Wario? Oh, there's Wario, there's Waluigi. Actually, the Waluigi doesn't look too bad from a distance. Uh, Mr. Six is in. So I have eight crystals on hand, and I need... Yes! Eight to build the Chrome Crusher. Let's go! Okay, so turn... All right, I'm gonna do something really stupid. Turn power on. Yep, I know, this is, that was stupid. Cause now I'm on, bring that down, bring that back on. There we go, now it, it had to depower something. I'm curious what it depowered. Where's Rocket Racer? He should be the one in here. Instead of Steve Minecraft. Actually hop out, Steve. Sorry, I appreciate that you're here. Let's let, um, hmm, who do I want driving? I don't see the, there he is. Rock Got him. It just warms my heart when the rocket racer is the one going in there. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. Or is it? Nah, it's not. Yeah, there we go. An energy crystal has been found. Ooh, more energy crystals, very nice. Oh, sorry about that. I had something just, like, come up there real quick that I needed to uh, rectify. There's a, yeah, the weird jump. Sorry about that. That just that just happens. So I'm trying to think of a... Uh, I like to talk about a topic, you know, on especially on these really long playthroughs, you know. Because nothing is worse than, like, irrelevant, ir irrelevant droning and rambling on. So I like to try and think of a topic, and I was really struggling to come up with something kind of interesting to give a take on. Because either everything is too controversial these days, or just straight up not interesting. And I decided, I was kind of in between, like, the topic of either influencers or plants. And then I realized, oh, an influencer is anybody who tries to influence someone's opinions, thoughts, that sort of thing, and it's like... Like, I don't try to influence people's thoughts or opinions, but being a YouTuber could be seen as trying to do that, so it's like, I've kind of become the very thing that I hate, in a way. Like, I don't want to be, like, one of those really weird influencers that, like, goes to IHOP and takes videos of fake eating pancakes. But, it's like, still. It's like, in a way, a YouTuber is kind of an influencer. So, instead, I'm going to talk about plants, because I think plants are just neat. So, one of the things that I, I do in my personal in my personal life is uh, I am very into, like, plants and gardening. I, I don't know why I kind of latched on to that. But, uh... So, I, I just think that plants, plants are neat. You know, being a homeowner and stuff, you know, I want my... I want my yard to to look nice. Uh, I, I would assume anybody would want their, their yard or house or apartment or things to look nice. And I think that plants just add so much life to to a house. Uh, yes, plants are, are living. So I've been, uh, I've been learning a lot from my mother, who's just like the a master gardener. Great relationship with my parents. Love them all to death. Oh, oh, wait, nope, still go. We are still go. Uh, you know what, get a, uh, somebody get in a, uh, loader dozer here. I think that'll just kind of help speed things along. But, you know, I think plants are, are really, really cool. And I've been learning a lot from my mother. You know, there's different kinds of plants that you need to plant for in different areas. And the goal of a garden is to have, like, different things blooming at different points of the year. So there's always something to look at. So, like, I have a ton of bulbs planted around my house. All kinds of tulips. I planted these hyacinths. Oh, they are a brilliant shade of, uh, they are an absolutely brilliant shade of, of blue. These giant hyacinths, and I, and I love it. And the, the tulips that I planted, oh, I've got, um, I try to mix and match colors of tulips, but there are just certain, but I do have, like, some packs where it's like, I bought some packs of tulips where it's like, oh, these are all just one color of tulip. And you plant them all next to each other, and it just, it just adds so much color to your, uh, 
uh, color to your garden. And then there's also what they call foundation plants, just plants that they don't bloom. Uh, they're just there to add like texture. So there's a, I have a lot of I have a lot of hostas in my house, and they I have a lot of hostas, junipers, uh, evergreens, things that don't bloom, but they add that they added much needed texture. They add like a foundation, a good structure to to your garden. I think it's I think it's very interesting how just like you would expect with um, like doing home 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 decorating, it's like there is a lot to be said and a lot to be considered with with plants. So like I've got hostas for like foundation plants along with um, all kinds of tulips for spring. I've got things that bloom during the uh, the summer months. I got stuff that kind of bloom in fall. I suddenly can't think of the name of it, of anything. Because I panic, as I panicked. But it's just, it's so interesting and very fulfilling. Plants are expensive nowadays. Everything's expensive nowadays. But plants are super expensive, but it's an investment. You take care of them, they'll last you forever. I have this really cool uh, evergreen in my yard. And as we're kind of getting to, you know, late fall and or the middle of fall here in winter and all the leaves have fallen off everything. Why do we call, why do the Americans call fall fall? Because the leaves fall off the trees. But uh, anyways, it's like, I think that, you know, uh, gardening is super rewarding and I, and I've, and I very much, very much in, enjoy gardening. Ooh, lilacs, lilacs are another thing that I, that I have in, uh, in my yard. I have a couple different varieties. I have this uh, sky blue lilac that's just incredible. It, uh, it, I love, th I love the color blue. Blue is my favorite color. An energy Ooh. All right. It might be time to set up another forward operating base here. Sedums. I have, I have a lot of sedums and stone crop. Those are really good foundation plants. And sedums are super great for anybody who, you know, thinks that they don't have the greenest thumb out there because they are extremely hard to kill. And I got a few indoor plants too. I have this, um, not a lilac, it's a lavender plant that I've never really been able to get to take off. I, I haven't quite figured it out. Either it just doesn't get enough water, it just doesn't get enough sunlight, or I've given it too much water, too much, I've never been able to get it to really go. And that's a bummer. I might just, I might just try a, a different variety of uh, lavender. I like, I like the smell of lavender. I've got, um, actually sitting behind me right now, I have, uh, my, in my family, uh, there's we have this uh, we have this Christmas cactus that's been in my family for decades, and uh, all of us siblings we're eventually I got when I moved out my mother one of my the first gifts she gave me when I moved out was uh, the the Christmas cactus, and this is actually a there's like Easter cactuses things like that but this is a Christmas cactus that actually blooms uh, during Christmas time which is actually one of the most un, the more uncommon variety of, of this kind of cactus. If you Google Christmas cactus, you know, you'll see it. It's actually one of the more uncommon ones because it actually blooms during the time, but it's been in the family for decades. And when my aunt passed away and my mother got it, you know, it, we, we keep it in the family. I'm hoping that one day I'll get to have the, the Christmas cactus. But uh, what's really cool is that you can, you actually just break off like parts of the stem of the Christmas cactus, put it in water, and it'll actually grow. So when I uh, when I moved out, my mother um, she gave me a uh, she gave me a pot with the family Chris with a a clipping of the family Christmas cactus in it that she had been growing for me, and it looks fantastic. I've had it for a, a couple of years now, haven't killed it, thank God. I won't claim to have the greenest thumb out there, but you know I am gonna try and I am actively trying not to kill my plants. Yeah, it might be time for another forward operating tool store here in just a second. When I break into, I think there's a cavern around here, I'll do one. Um, could set up one here. I'm, I'm gonna keep going this way and see where that gets us. All right, yeah. Maybe I'll go here and see what that gets us next. How many energy crystals do I need? I need 75. Yeah, it might be time for a, another forward operating tool store. In just a bit. But the Christmas cactus I hold very near and dear to my heart because it is a clipping off of the the 50-year-old plus Christmas cactus that's been in the family forever. 
So in a way, it's the family Christmas cactus, just a, a piece of it. And my mother's growing a few more and things, so. I just think plants are cool. I think plants add so much to a house. They don't make a house a home, but it, you know, it just adds life. Plus, it's something for me to, you know, try and not kill. A sense, it fosters a sense of responsibility. Although that, li although that lavender plant, I'm really bummed I was never able to get... It smells really good. You know, when you rub it and the oil gets on your hands, it smells fantastic. But I've never been able to get it to really prosper. And looking at it, like, I think it is a little dry right now and needs some water. But even then, like, water the hell out of the thing and it just never... It never quite took, and I'm not sure why. I've replanted it, I've repotted it, it just doesn't do well. And actually, since it's winter over here, but getting close, really cold, I've actually brought in a few more plants in my house. Um, I have a mint plant that I've that I've killed, and it's come back, like, twice now. Like, I don't get it. It just, like, suddenly dies off at, like, the end of summer, and then it comes back when I bring it in the house. I I've, haven't been able to figure that one out. Yeah, I'm going to set a forward operating tool store around here. This is actually kind of slow going. And then I've also, for cooking, I've got um, I've got an oregano plant that I've brought in the house. And I have a rosemary plant. Uh, the original rosemary died for whatever reason. I, I'm not sure why it died, but yeah, it just, the original rosemary died. So the second iteration that I have in here is doing a lot better. Dare I say, it's it's looking pretty good. Yeah, reinforce that. Yeah, the, your uh, your loader dozer can reinforce. I don't think that was the case in uh, in the original uh, Rock Raiders game. It also doesn't take any damage from landslides, which makes it super nice. I played a really good puzzle level a few... a year? Okay, maybe I do need to go that way. I played a really cool puzzle level about a year ago. Uh, you can get all this stuff at, like, the Manic Miners Discord, things like that. Alright, who the hell's bringing the ore? What are these nitwits doing? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. You. Pick that up. Put this down. You, pick this up. Put this down. Thank you. Oh, it looks like they were bringing it all along. Oops. There. An energy crystal has been found. Oh boy, these guys are a little dumb, but I love them. You know what? Come over here. No, no, I wish I could override you. Actually, I will. I'm going to see if I can build this uh, sandwich shop on my own here. I actually might be able to do this. Uh, can I... Nice! Crank it, smoke it! Look at me building. Man, this is way faster than I do it. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. I should build all the buildings in the future. What happens if I hit Alt W? Nothing. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. I'm having a blast with this, actually. Nope, somebody got it already. Very good. All right, guys, keep going on that. An energy crystal has been found. Uh, yeah, drill that. Definitely drill that. Yeah, so this will be like a forward operating sandwich shop for these guys. I think the uh, 
I think my uh, the lost rock raiders are around here somewhere. But yeah, plants I think are really cool, and you know, one of the lessons I've learned, you know, like a lot of plants can go together. Like, there's no real wrong answer for plants. Ah, crap. I think I need a, uh... Somebody bring down a uh, tunnel transport. I think I'm gonna need one of those. But the one thing I've learned is, like, there's no real wrong answer for plants, you know. Water. If they need partial sun, put them in a place where they get partial sun. If they need sh mostly shade, put them in a place where they get shade. Outside of that, there's real no wrong answer for plants, you know. Go to your local nursery and look around. They've probably got stuff that'll work in your local area. But it's just nice, because I can plant plants wherever I look, however I want. If I don't like where they're at, I move them. Simple as that. Mario, can you pilot? You cannot. Train as a pilot, please. No. No. No, 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 no. Train as pilot. And then get in the damn tunnel transport. Very good. I want you to pick up this thing. Fortunately, you're taking the long way around. Although this thing can cheat and go over water, so I guess it won't be that long. I think the Lost Rock Raiders are right around here, so we'll... And then there's a secret t shortcut that basically leads us back to here. And that's like the whole map more or less excavated. Uh, you know what? If there's any Rock Raiders that want to drill a little, feel free. Not going to harm anything, not going to help anything. That's so cool. I kind of like how it actually looks like it's grabbed onto the... It legitimately looks like it is attached to the... Uh, to the tunnel transport. That's pretty cool. I've never done it with uh, smaller vehicles. Hell yeah, there we go. Alright, you got a new job. We're going to come back over here. Very good. Very good. Yeah, there they go. Sandwich shop it, boys. You can actually drop your uh, vehicles in the water. <laughs> Did that once on accident. It was very... Jackpot! It was actually a, a mild bit silly of me. An energy crystal has been found. I've driven my vehicles into the water, actually, and destroyed them. Again, just An a mild bit of tomfoolery on my part. An energy crystal oh, good lord, this found. one's gonna take a hot second. Actually, I'm really happy that I have the tunnel transport. This will take less of a hot second. A cavern has been discovered. Oh, yes, I'm sure it has. Alright, yeah. Manually operating this thing now. I'm gonna get click fatigue. But yes, long story short, plants are really cool. There's a lot to learn about plants. Uh, you always plant uh, the same kind of plant in odd numbers. Otherwise, it looks like a formal garden, and most people aren't aiming to do that. It's just it's just cool. I just wish plants weren't so damn expensive, but it's an investment, you know? Uh, good landscaping on a house, great investment. At least that's what they tell me. Yeah, so now I just need 75 energy crystals. 
And set up like a forward operating something or other over here, I'm thinking. An energy crystal has been found. All right. And line her up. Okay, is the hard rock really necessary at this point? It might be, I don't know. You know what? Just let it do its thing. I think I accidentally broke the pathing. Tunnel transport is real confused right now. If you, if you stick around long enough, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna need you're gonna get what you need, man. I will get you a path. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, the pathing's really confused right now. An energy crystal oh! It's kind of cool. Can I, like, do a slightly different... There we go. Wow. This thing is not terribly fast when I drive it. An energy crystal has been found. It is definitely not terribly fast when I drive. An energy crystal has been found. Rock radar. An energy crystal has been found. Fine, I'll do it myself. Ugh. My back is killing me. Easy, Chef. Oh wait, no, that's not Chef that's saying that. And tool store. An energy crystal has been found. Very good, very good. Almost there. An energy crystal has been found. Jackpot. There we go. Now you can now you can path correctly. Wow, that was painful. That was very painful to watch. Oh, that's the thing for the four. Oh, I'm actually losing air, I suppose, because I'm at my max. It's okay, it's not going to matter here in about a second. Well, that was pretty cool. Excellent. You rescued the Rock Raiders and got 20 energy crystals. Good job. Mission complete. All right, good job, everybody. Waterworks. Waterworks all done. I've got seven hours total in this campaign already. Wow. All right, when we come back next time. Split down the middle. Split down the middle. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.